All right, we will hop into some butterfly ID. <clears throat> First, we're going to look at the monarch. Um, its range is statewide. Um, its range extends into Canada and Mexico. Um, to tell the difference between um, males and females, the veins on the males are generally thinner than the females, pretty thick veins. Um, but the males have this black spot that they use. Um, it contains pheromones that the females lack. Um, there is a mimic in the state, the viceroy. Um, it has uh, uh, this black band through its hind wing that the monarchs lack. Both the males and females do not have this black, black line. Um, we're not interested in Viceroy sightings for this survey, and I haven't seen too many while out doing the surveys, but they are something that you should keep your eye on. Uh, they're generally quite a bit smaller for a monarch. Um, this is not how the life cycle of um, butterflies work, but if you like see a really small monarch, I usually go, oh, that's a little baby monarch, but that's, that's not how the life cycle works. They're about as Big as they're ever going to get right after they come out of their chrysalis. So um, quite a bit smaller than uh, your typical monarch or regal fritillary, but quite a bit different in color than the regal. On to the regals. Um, again, they're found pretty much throughout the state. They are a little more common in the sand hills and the eastern quarter of the state, though. Um, the best way to tell these species apart, or these uh, the males and the females apart, is the males have orange spots at the tips of their hind wings, and the females have white spots. Um, you can't really see that when they are closed. They need to kind of be opened up. Um, but uh, yes, it, it can be very difficult to see that when they're flying. And if you don't, that's fine too, uh, as long as you can get to Regal and monarch, um, male and female, is not the most important characteristic that we have. There are a lot of other fritillaries in the state, but none of them have this really distinct dark hind wing um, that the regal fritillary has. I want to say there's another 10 or so species of just fritillaries. Um, most of them are not found in the eastern side of the state. So here are our target species. Again, little dot, thinner veins, thicker veins without a dot for the monarch, orange for the males, white for the females, roughly three to four inches in size. Do we have any questions about monarch slash regal ID? So what's the size difference and the wingspan difference between these two? They're roughly the same. Um, they're probably just a little smaller than like a swallowtail you might see out, but these are about as big a butterflies as you're gonna see. Um, and, and once you see them the first time, you, it's pretty easy to identify them. And that's part of why they were picked is they're large, um, they're, they're easy to see, and they're pretty easy to tell apart from almost every other butterfly out there. Someone else is wondering if you'll give uh, the participants ID photos that they can print out and take with them. Yes, um, we'll get to distributing all of that, but you are going to get a lot of stuff with this survey. Um, basically, this whole talk, um, all the relevant things for the field work will be in a packet, and um, you'll get that. You'll also get a plot rope which we'll get to in a little bit as well, but you'll get a fair amount of stuff with this um, and we'll go over how to get that in a bit. <clears throat> 